Good morning. On today's lecture, I'll cover terminating and recurring decimals are not irrational numbers. Probably you remember irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a by b, where a and b are integers. In my last video of irrational numbers, I have shown some of the uh, famous irrational numbers, pi, that's value is 3.14159, correct to five decimal places. Then we had E, the base of natural logarithm, and that's 2.71818, and keeps going on. Then we have pi, we call this one golden ratio or golden numbers, and that's 1.61803. And then prime numbers involving involving square roots, it's uh, 1.41421. If it's involving cube root, then it's 1.25992. And composite number involving root that you cannot take out of the root, that's going to be 2.44948 and keeps going on. And if it's in cube root, then it's going to be 1.81712 and keeps going on. Now, you can see that these irrational numbers, they have infinite numbers of decimal places, decimal values, decimal numbers, and they are not repeating. So these are irrational numbers. They cannot be expressed as A by B. But there are some of the numbers called terminating. That means that at some point, we have some finite numbers of decimal decimal number that can that can be expressed as a by b and some of the numbers they occur in decimal places infinite number of times but they have a set of repeating number and they call recurring or repeating decimals that also can be written as a by b and those are not irrational numbers okay let me give you an example let's say 2.4 2.4 this is a, a one decimal place and this is in decimal number and you know that we can take this decimal off by this and when we reduce into smaller fraction you have done that in um, uh, your lower classes in junior classes that 2.4 can be written as 24 by 10 that gives you 12 over 5 okay so this is a decimal place number that has one decimal place, its finite number of decimal place, and we can write down that in the form of a by b. Okay, so this is a, a rational number, it's not an irrational number. If you're looking at 1.75, that can be written as 175 divided by 100 or over 100, and when you reduce it, it it's coming to 7 by 4. So again, uh, there are two decimal places. We know it's finite number of decimal places and we can convert this one into A by B and that's rational number. Okay. What about recurring uh, decimal places? Okay. Recurring decimal places could be probably uh, you have seen the famous one, 1 over 3 and that's when you divided it, it's going to come to 0 0.333 and 3 never ends. Okay, this is one example of recurring decimal. Now, recurring decimal, when a number has a set of repeating decimal numbers or a, a follow a pattern, okay, the numbers that has a pattern, like this one, 0 0.555 and 5 keeps repeating on. Okay, the way it does, okay, I'll show you a nice proof of that. Let's say this one is X and it's 0 0.555 and 5 is repeating and if you multiply this one by 10 okay so 10x you know that this point will be moving one one uh, one uh, digit to the right so it's going to be 5.555 and keeps going on like that so when you subtract that so what's going to happen this side you are going to have 9x and over here you're going to have 5.000 and 0 is repeating. So we can write down that as 5. So 9x equal to 5. So what this x going to be? x going to be 5 by 9. 
And what was our x? Our x was nothing but 0 0.555 and it's repeating. So we can write down this 0 0.555 and if 5 keep repeating 5 by 9. Okay, so this can be written as a by b. So this is not an irrational number. What about repeating that? Following this rule, we can say that it's 7 by 9. Okay, but look at this number. This number is repeating two digits. Okay, it's a set of patterns, set of numbers. Okay, set of numbers that repeating uh, 0 0.232323 like that. In this case, what are you going to do? We're going to write down 23, okay, divided by 9, 9. Okay, let's see if it works or not. Okay, we can use this formula, uh, extend of this formula to find out this. 23 divided by 9, 9. See that? It's repeating 0 0.232323. So this can be written as 23 by 99. Again, in the form of A by B. What about this one? I have three digits repeating 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 3, like that. So that time we can write down 0, 2, 3. These three digits are repeating. Then 9, 9, 9. So this might be 2, 3, 9, 9, 9. Let's see using the calculator. Okay. 23 divided by 9, 9, 9. And you can see that 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 3, 0, 2, 3. They are repeating again in the form of a by b so this is a rational number now over here i have 0, 0.0 then not all these three digits are repeating only 2323 2, 3. in this case what we are going to do we are going to just write down 0 2 3 and then we are going to subtract that 0 that digit is not repeating so I have 23 so 23 and in this case is going to be 9 9 and 0 let's see if it's work or not 23 divided by 9 9 0 I have 0 2 3 2 3 2 3 okay this is how it works so it's going to be 23 9 9 0 same thing, I'm just showing it over here because probably it doesn't make much sense why we are subtracting zero. Watch this one. One, two, three, and repeating is two, three. One is not repeating. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna subtract one from it. So it's going to be 122. Let's see what happened. 122 divided by 990. Say that one, two, three, two, three, two, three. So this is going to be this is the reason we are subtracting 1. 1, 2, 2. And the two digits that are repeating, we're going to put 9, 9. And the one that's not repeating for that, we're going to put 0. Okay, so that's that. Again, in the form of that. This is very interesting number. Okay, 0 0.9999. 9 is repeating. Okay. Now, with this two uh, uh, formulas or the methods we have used, that means 9 that number that is repeating divided by 9 it equals to 1 hmm this is interesting right 0 0.999 it's repeating and it's equal to 1 remember this one we have done over here there's another formula another method to show you that this is true that 0 0.999 repeating 9 is equal to 1 that if you multiply both side by 3 let's say we multiply both side by 3 so this three, this three cancel out, and we are ending up having one on the right hand side, and this side, this three is multiplying all those digits after the point. So it's going to be zero point nine 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 to the infinite digit, infinite decimal places. So one equals to zero point nine nine nine. So we can see that recurring decimal, it can be written as a by b. So these are not irrational number they are rational numbers and any any decimal places and any number with a finite that we know the end of it we can express that as a by b as well so they are not irrational number they are rational numbers okay in my last video okay i have showed that 
um, find out all the irrational numbers between 2 and 3. If you remember, uh, whenever we did a square root 4, square root 9, we have taken all those square numbers, um, uh, uh, whole numbers, it's 5, square root 6, square root 7, square root 8, all these are irrational number in between 2 and 3. And then I say don't take 6.25. Sometimes these point numbers cannot be um, uh, irrational number. Okay, let's see if it, if you can prove this one or not. 6.25. Now we can take this one 100, 625 over 100 and take the square root. And when you cross it out, okay, 625, that's going to be 25 and this is going to be 4. So it can be written as 5 by 2 square, square and square root cross out. I have 5 by 2, that's 2.5. You can try this one, square root 6.25, that's 2.5. And we know that 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10 or 5 by 2 or what we had before. So it's in the form of A by B, that's not irrational number. Okay, and whenever we did um, cube root, then we did the same thing over here. With If you remember, it was uh, cube root 8 and cube root 27 and we said that every cube number cube root number from this to that 8 to 27 that means 9 cube root 10 to up to cube root 26 all of them are irrational number and uh, I mentioned don't take this value 15.625 and cube root of that if you use this calculator, you can see that. I'll just use the calculator to show you this. 15.625 and I have 2.5. Again, that is cube root 15.625 and it can be written as 25 by 10 or 5 by 2 in the form of A by B. So these are not irrational number. So you can see terminating and recurring decimals, they are not irrational numbers, okay? any other numbers that cannot be taken out of the square root or cube root or any root, they are irrational number. This, these are very famous irrational numbers. Okay, you can see that. And hope this concept is very clear to you. If it's not, please see the video over. Thank you very much. Have a good day.